have an Echo Weed Whacker SRM 2400 here, and I just replaced the cutting head on here. Uh, I wish I would have filmed how I did it, so you could see all that, but I'm going to show you how I did it here, or explain to you how I did it. And it's really quite simple. Uh, all I needed was this little punch right here, because what you do is you stick that in here, and that locks the head so you can unscrew it. Uh, another, another important aspect of this uh, is that when you unscrew it, you screw it to the right or clockwise um, instead of to the left like you normally would. And what you do, if I can show you, is you basically you just look for the hole There it is. And basically you just stick the punch down in there and now the head's locked. You can't rotate it. And I was able to take it off just by, with my hand, uh, turning it to the right. And this whole head comes off. And to put it back on, you just do the same thing as you keep that punch in there and you screw it on to the left. And I basically just got it as tight as I could with my hand. But that's the key right there is finding that hole down in there and placing something in there. I've seen, uh, I've actually had to use a nail before, um, but anything will work just as long as you lock that head in place when trying to remove it. And just remember it removes clockwise to the right and installs counterclockwise to the left. Have a great day folks.